Hey guys, it's Heather from Kell of a Plan, and today I am going to be making a video showing you what I plan on using one of my new Happy Notes notebooks from. So these are the new notebooks that are from the Happy Planner. They're called Happy Notes. You, they are exclusive to Joann's store, so you can run to your local Joann's to pick them up. This one is a classic size one. Sorry, I'm going to put my phone on silent. This is a classic sized one that I love, and I'm going to be turning this notebook into a home planner. Um, it's got some stickies from the cover still left that I need to wipe off. But I'm gonna be using this as a home planner. Matthew and I don't have a home planner and, I, and I've and i never really wanted to use like an actual planner for that because I felt like um, I didn't need like the weeklies and the monthlies. I really need like a home notebook. And so I thought this would be great to turn this happy notes into a home notebook. So what I did was I got a piece of smaller notebook paper and I just wrote down all of the different things that I thought was information that we would need in a home notebook. And I wrote it all down and then on the back, I kind of divided it into three sections that I thought could be each of these dividers. So we have home information, personal information, and then emergency information. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab, first off, my alphabet sticker book and there is a tiny letter page here and so i'm going to use this tiny letter page to basically write out what each divider is going to be so the first tab is going to be home info this is going to be things like um who our realtor is, who our insurance is, who our pool company is, who our yard company is, um, things like that, just so that I can, it's all in one place. I'm also going to have a page of like a list of things that we want to fix around the house and stuff like that. So that's just going to be home info. And I'm not going to make all of these pages today because that would be crazy. I'm basically just going to set it up and make like a page or two and then I will show more videos probably in the coming weeks as I make more pages for this notebook. So this is more of like setting it up. Okay, so home info and then the second one I'm going to name it personal. This is going to be things like on the list like it might be um our favorite meals, our cleaning schedule, which I've actually already made a cleaning schedule, but I can just put it in here. Vet information, doc, doctor information, stuff like that. So that's what this tab is gonna be. So I'm just gonna spell out personal with these letters. And again, these letters are from the um, Alphabet sticker book. It has lots of different size letters. And I'm trying not to be OCD with lining them up perfectly because it's just not gonna happen. And that really doesn't bother me that much. But if that is something that bothers you, then you could use some kind of straight edge and line up the stickers there before you stick it down on your tab. Or even using like tweezers or something like that would make them straighter, but my nails are kind of in the way. And so that's why it's not super duper straight. Okay, so now we have home info and personal. And then the last tab, I'm gonna name it emergency. And this is where we'll put stuff like our emergency contacts, um, the local police number, the local ambulance number, our families, like people who would need to be contacted, um, especially because, you know, a lot of times we don't remember phone numbers anymore. They're just in our phones. But what if you have an emergency and you, for some reason, you don't have your phone and you don't know the person's number to use someone else's phone? So things like that. I hope that emergency will fit on here. I'm getting kind of nervous that all the letters aren't going to fit. It's 
squeeze it in a little bit. Okay, barely. All right, so those are my three dividers. I love how that looks. And then I have my list. And so now I'm gonna take these three colors. So we have um, pink, whoops, pink, yellow, and blue. And what I'm gonna do is yellow, pink, and blue. And I'm going to mark what I think should go in each category just so that I know um, what should go where. Okay, personal information, favorite meals, cleaning schedule, vet, doctors, and then emergency will be those two. Okay, so now it's color coded so that I kind of know what I want to put in each divider. Now, I'm going to take this off because this does not belong. This was something else I was doing and I didn't realize it was in this notebook. So the yellow section, we have a couple of different things. We have companies that I need to kind of keep all together. Um, so like important contacts, updates that we want to do around the house, service providers. Let's start with that. Let's start with utilities, utility providers. So what I'm thinking is, where's my plan? Sorry, I have to kind of figure out how many different utility companies. So that we would have our water, water, gas, electricity, and internet. Those are kind of the four that I'm thinking of off the top of my head. So I'm gonna go to colorful boxes. I love this sticker book. And we're gonna start just with those four. So I'm gonna say one, two, three, Okay, so it kind of it's gonna be able to fit six. So I'm gonna go ahead and put six stickers here. And then I'm actually think I'm gonna use this marker. This is a Sharpie brush pen. And I think I want to use Okay, and then I can go here and write out electricity. off the top of my head I can't think of other utilities but I'm sure that there are some so then I can just do like a little decorative thought and then there I can keep track of utilities okay so the next I kind of need to do let's mark off That would be this. So we did that. N now down here, I'm thinking we could do like the people. So 
our pool company, our yard company, our pest company, our insurance, our realtor. So I'm trying to think of what I would call that. Let's use kind of these colors just to mix it up. I love these colorful wax stickers, by the way. I think they're just perfection. Especially just, they're just a cute little pop of color in what would otherwise be kind of a boring spread. So it's basically just making it a little bit cuter. Okay, and so then here, I'm thinking I wanna use a pink brush marker would be cute. Here, I, I don't know if I'd call them companies or people. I'm just gonna call them companies. I don't really know what else to call this category. Okay, so then here, you can move this, pull this back out. We have our realtor, which it's important to keep up with your realtor even when you're not selling your house. Because our realtor still like every spring when our, um, I can't think of what it's called, but when like your taxes and stuff go up, she helps to pull comps and stuff for us. So we still talk to her at least once every year. <laughs> Realtor insurance. I should probably put our mortgage. Should probably keep up with who's using that these days. Our pool company. Pest control. And yard company. Okay, and then of course I'm not gonna write all of that information in the video because I don't necessarily want you guys to know that much personal info, but I'm just trying to give y'all some ideas on what you could put. And then one awesome thing that I'll probably also do in this notebook is when like these people come and we have receipts from them, I can punch their receipts and add them to the notebook and that would be just a really cute way to keep it all together so it's another idea so we've done that one we did this 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 one okay so next up I'm gonna stay in this part of the notebook but we're gonna go and we're gonna write, I'm gonna letter it with the yellow and house updates. And this is kind of like a dream list of what we would update in our house if we could. And then, cause what we do is we kind of, we have a list like this in our pantry already, but then we kind of like get ideas and then we, we work all of, off of that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna print off some pictures from Pinterest of some updates that will inspire us. And I'm gonna put them here with little notes about the update. So I will do a separate video on that because it's kind of gonna be a whole page, but I'm super, super excited about that. So that'll go on that page. 
Now let's go ahead and flip to the personal section. The first thing I wanna do here is my dog page, which I know that's not necessarily like personal because it's not about me, it's about a dog. But like basically I want information about our pets in one place. So I'm gonna write, and this is especially important to us because our vet that we've been using for years just now randomly closed. And so we're already having to like go to another vet to get our paperwork from them because they basically like took all the paperwork from our vet who closed. And so that's like a whole mess. So I don't like the way that I did that. It, there's no room to decorate. So I'm actually gonna take that off and we're gonna do it again. That's one nice thing is this comes with plenty of paper in this notebook. So that if you mess up, it's not a big deal. And again, these markers are Sharpie brush markers. I got them at Target, but I will try to remember to link them in the description in case you want to order them for yourself. They're pretty easy to use. Pet information. So then this is a little pet sticker book from Hobby Lobby that I just think is so cute. And so I'm going to use it. And we're going to decorate this page some. So I'm going to put this here. The more people I meet, the more I love my dog. It's so cute. Okay, so I'm trying to pick dogs that kind of look like ours. So maybe this could be Maggie. And maybe this could be Julio. It doesn't really look like Julio, but we can pretend. Okay. So I'm gonna go back to the colorful boxes because I love this book. I've already used so many of these stickers though. Okay, we're gonna have to pull out another one. It's crazy. How many of these books I have. Oh my goodness, guys, what the crap? I wanna use these stickers and I've already used them. Okay, one more, I got three. Maybe you haven't used them in this book yet. Yes, they're still there, sweet. Okay, so here we're gonna put This box here. This box. Actually, no, we're going to do another green one. This box here. And then this box here. And I'm going to go back to this sticker book. And here it says groom. So here I'm gonna put our groomer. And then here we actually have to pick a new vet, but this is where I can put the vet information here and then the groomer information. And then I'm thinking Right here, there's a sticker that says um, food. So I'm gonna put it here. And then this sticker says flea and tick. And so here I can put the information on the flea and tick medicine that we give them. long sticker here and 
And I would love another long sticker just like that one. But I wouldn't be surprised if I've already used it. I've already used it in that book. <laughs> Yes, I still have it in this one. Sweet. Okay, so now I'm kind of wishing I hadn't put this sticker here. So we're gonna pull it back up and then we'll put it back down. It's probably still gonna go there. Oh no, I just ripped the page. I know, I already know. I already know what comments y'all are gonna say. Heather, you should really try undo. It'll get your stickers up. Just, I know, I know. You don't have to tell me in the comments. But no, I do not have any. Yes, I will look into buying some. Especially after that horrible. Okay, that's not my favorite. All right, it's not my favorite page. It's looking pretty rough, actually, but, oh well. <laughs> so then down here, it could be cute to just add some doggies. It's not my favorite page. I'm kind of like cringing at this page, but. Okay, so now I'm going to grab this and I'm gonna write my dog's names in these top boxes, so. Julio and Maggie. And then underneath there, I'm going to put Julio is a Yorkie and Maggie is just a mutt. We don't really know what she is. All right, so that is the dog page. It's not my favorite, but it's done. Um, I can take my cleaning schedule page that I made a couple of weeks ago. Can pop that in here. So that's, there's a video on that, but that's the one I made a couple weeks ago. My dog page. So then we can mark out the cleaning page because I moved that over. Ooh, favorite meals, that's a good one. Okay, this video is getting kind of long, so I won't do, I'm just gonna letter favorite meals, but I won't actually, I'll make that like a separate video or I'll just do it on my own and share the picture on Instagram, but I know that this is getting kind of long and I just want you guys to have an idea. So the reason I'm doing favorite meals is because I hate meal planning because every week I sit down and I'm like, I don't know what to cook. So I'm hoping that if I have a page just listing our favorite meals, then it'll be easier to meal plan because I can just look at this page and pick a couple of my favorite meals. So I will make a separate video for that. Okay, so then let's say we go to um, emergency, okay? So this page, we could do emergency contacts. And I'm thinking this is gonna be like family emergency contacts.
And there is a certain sticker book that I am thinking would be perfect for this. And I think they're in here. This is the Teacher's Rule sticker book. I'm pretty sure they're in here. Yes, these phone calls. So I could put these in here for emergency contact. So this will be one for my dad. Matthew's dad. Matthew's mom. My sister. Or my brother, because it's blue, I guess if I wanted to color code them. My sister. Matthew's brother. Um, maybe my stepmom. I'm and I may not put these exactly there, but I'm just thinking of people that could be would be considered an emergency contact before I stick the sticker down. So my dad, Matthew's parents, Matthew's brother, my brothers, my sister, my sister-in-law. Um, some family friends that live nearby. And then maybe, honestly, I think I'm just going to put the whole page on here. And then, and then what I may do is I may list them. Like, I may number them, call in this order. That way there's plenty of people to call. But they know what order of importance, kind of. So... I'm super excited about this page. So I'm gonna go, this is not the book I want. I'm gonna go to the dates and holiday book. And they have colorful numbers like these. And I'm gonna number these in the order of importance. So. This will be the first person that they should call. Number one. Then the second person. Maybe, maybe I'll put it right here. That seems like a better spot. Number one, number two. And that way, because like some of these numbers may be family members that live, like a lot of my family lives in Alabama. And so they wouldn't need to be like the first emergency person to call. We would want someone who lives here, but it's probably a good idea to have several numbers is kind of what I'm thinking. And then I'm gonna put a little asterisk symbol right here. And those were all from this dates and holiday book. And then I can write listed in order of who lives closest to us. Call in order in case of emergency. That way it's in order, like, and they'll know who to call. So then I'm gonna 
So the first person here would actually be, I'm not actually going to list names. I don't want y'all to know that. <laughs> um, I really love that page. So I will fill that out. So here we can mark out emergency contacts, family, friends. Then we can still do city contacts, documents. There's still so much more we can add in here. But I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up because this is kind of more of just like an introduction to this. Keep your eyes peeled for more projects coming soon in this notebook. I'm super excited about it. If you like this video, I hope you hit the like button. If you wanna see more of my videos, hit the subscribe button and happy planning.